Good morning. So today I'm here to do a day in the life video for you guys where I'm going to take you all with us wherever we go, whatever we do throughout the day. I hope you'll enjoy it. And right now it is almost 9 a.m. and my kids have had their breakfast, they've brushed their teeth, they've got ready, they've combed their hair and they've also done uh, their Quran memorization. I'm just going to do some cleaning uh, while my kids read and then we'll get started with schoolwork. Um, So we, we start with math and we use the good and beautiful math curriculum and it is just so hands-on. And do you love it? Do you love math? I love math. Yeah, she, my it daughter really... In, yeah, so math, like she said, um, math is taught by stories. Um, and then we do some fun activities. So yes, we're just starting off by um, writing the date and then we do our place value charts. So what did you just do? What chapter are we on? We are lesson 65 okay and how many tens in the number 65 um six tens. and how many ones so to color yours okay how many ones in 65 mm, five five good job well my my younger one she plays with her blocks she makes some towers and uh, she also does this math activity that we, she really likes and she's tracing numbers and she's coloring what are you writing, big girl? Nine. Nine. Introducing fact family, number one. From the appendix of this course book, cut out each member of the Tanaka family. Let's do that. So we managed to just get half an hour of schoolwork done and my girls are hungry and they want snack. But just one of these things with uh, homeschooling, <laughs> the kids are always snacking. So I'm going to give them some snack and get back to schoolwork. So my daughter has cut what she needs for the activity. Um, and that's their snack. And I usually keep a bottle next to them so that they don't forget to drink water, right? <laughs> okay. How many children are in the Tanaka family? Three children. Can you read what's next? Okay. Three. Move the three children down to the bath section on the right side of the pipe right hole. Now, write a number of the number three in the lower right window of the roof. So, two plus three equals? Five. So, you want to slide it to the whole section. Can you do that for me? Is equal to five. Okay. Nemo is just about to escape the fish tank. Look around the dentist's office for these toothy things. Can you all look for these toothy things? Can you look for me, little girl? Where's the tooth? Where's the, oh, that's the toothpaste. Yes. Can you look for this? Good job. Can you look for the brush, the toothbrush? Good job. My girls were in the backyard and the weather is so nice here that we decided to come outside and continue our language arts and reading uh, and handwriting section. My girl working on her handwriting and I'm going to take... Yo. Yo, yo. Yes. And uh, then we're going to do lessons 35 uh, uh, of the good in the beautiful language arts. And then uh, this is our favorite. Can you move your hands, sweetie? This is our favorite book, Alpha Phonics. We are on lesson 49 on Alpha Phonics. And this is one book that I really recommend you. Even if you're not homeschooling your kids, it's a wonderful book. I'm going to link it uh, on in the description. And then we are currently reading these who was Dr. Seuss, who was uh, Thomas Jefferson, who was Charles Darwin. Then we also love this book. It is really good for critical thinking. Um, and we randomly, uh, just like once a week or twice a week, we I just ask, I, I, she just pulls out a page and then I ask her a question and then she uh, solves it for me. The boy and girl run fast. It is a boy and girl. A, and a girl. The girl has a 
Ten. 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 Good job. The boy has a hand. The Lorax tells the story of a beautiful land where trufula trees grow. The Wansler wants to chop them all down to use in his factories, right? This is one of our favorite books. Uh, do you like this book? I love this book. I was looking. Yeah, she loves this book. And I, if you haven't read this book, you have to read this book for your children. I'm going to link this book too. So yes, we're reading all about Dr. Seuss. We've read almost all his books and we are a fan. And little one is just looking through books, which is also great, right? You just want them to look at the pictures. Look. Look. Yay. So this is what my schedule looks like. We're almost done with most of our schoolwork and on days when I'm working, like when I have to go for work, this is what my daughter does. Uh, she works on iReady. She studied, uh, she practices it by herself and then she also does mystery science. She will go through the projects there. She listen to Doug and then do it with her sister. So let me quickly show you what she does on iReady and on mystery science. Movie answer choices up or down to find the correct answer. Then tap the done button. A jar of jelly is next to the toast. Is Find this... jelly to complete the sentence. Is this jelly? Damn it. The pony is jumping over the fence. Pony. Find pony. Pony, right? So today we're learning uh, shadows uh, with gnomes. So my daughters have already col uh, colored their gnomes and we've stuck it. So all of these uh, printables come on the Mystery Science website. And then Doug is going to teach us how to proceed with this activity. A shadow pattern page and a paper version of Willie the Gnome. That's Willie. Really... You're going to give Willie a shadow, a shadow and then figure out how to make his shadow move so that it lands on each shadow that's drawn on the page. There are numbers on the shadows, so you have to do them in order, making Willie's shadow move so that it covers number one, yeah. number two, and number three. You can't move Willie. He's going to be taped to the page. Right, so and the taped, page right? is going to be taped things. down as well. So you have to figure out some other way to make Willie's shadow move. Can you figure out how to make Let's all the shadows on each pattern? And can you move through the numbers in order, moving from one shadow to another? Those are your challenges for today. Okay, so we're doing that with our flashlight. Let's, we can't move the gnome, right? Yeah. So we need to move something else. Huh? And then? Ah. And then this. And then this. So what's happening? What so are we, we moving? To, we have to move the flashlight. And what is the flashlight? What, what, what does the flashlight relate to that causes the shadow? The? The, the sun. So it's almost 11.30 a.m. and we're done with uh, Quran uh, memorization. We're done with math. We're done with language arts, writing, reading. We make sure that we do uh, these subjects five days a week. Uh, subjects like social studies and science. My daughter's in kindergarten, so I just supplement it with activities, uh, reading uh, National Geographic books or watching documentaries. Now uh, we're going to have a lunch and then we're going to head out for a nature walk and a hike which we make sure that we go almost every other day. Nature walks is something we do every day. We do go out, we observe, we draw in our journals. So it is almost 1.10 p.m. and we're done with our uh, lunch, we're done with our prayer and now we're leaving for a hike. My girls are in their car seat and I'll show you all our scenes uh, from our hike. But I, before that, I wanted to give you a little advice. This is a habit that we have formed and really, really helps us. If you are trying to teach something to your kids, so for me, uh, it is the Quran memorization. So every time we sit in a car, my girls know that they are going to listen to Quran one way and they're going to practice, they're going to learn. If you're trying to teach them anything, it could be a verse from the Bible or it could be a poem that they're learning for school. Make it a routine that one thing that you do every day, you repeat, you put that on repeat so that they're listening and they're learning. Uh, when we're coming back, our routine is on the Bluetooth. I'm always playing 
uh, some stories. Our favorite is the one on Story Nori. So that way they're listening to uh, stories and they're not seeing anything. So that really helps them with the imagination. Today my friend has joined for a hike. Hi friend. Hi. Our kids have a holiday at school so we are gonna go for a hike here. There. <laughs> Back from a hike, and we've all freshened up, and the girls are reading some books. The cat and the fin, the cat jumped over the moon, and listened on glass. After that, we're going to have our dinner. My girls will talk to their grandparents back in India, and I will read them their bedtime stories and put them to bed. Uh, so I hope uh, you'll enjoy this day in the life video. I hope you'll enjoy it coming along with us. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to leave your comments on what you'd like to see next. Until next time, bye-bye.